everyone um today i'm going to do something different than usual um i'm going to show you a replay uh it's pretty much well it's it's my my game that i did against a zerg and that got me into diamond so since i play this on stream with music and stuff i don't want to bother with uh potential copyright blame or, or strike or any, anything like that like related to copyright and stuff um so i'm just going to show you guys and and talk a bit about the the game it's a short game it's only like 10 not even 10 minutes as you can see and it's a pvz on curious minds so uh what you should know about the map that i usually just think about like in general how long is the map i expect rushes and stuff like that so yeah uh, remember we're still in platinum one like top of platinum one at this point so i'm not expecting too much so usually zergs on my level uh they just try to fake this and if i block it enough then it's going to be enough pretty much uh something that i've been thinking about is maybe i just block the natural continuously and if he just uh tries to place it on the third and fine by me it's actually gonna be harder for him to hold my build that i'm going to do right now so uh it's typical um 14 pylon 16 gate 17 gas 20 nexus 20 core uh 21 gas i believe soon 21 gas and potentially 22 pylon i guess so pretty standard opening uh, for myself the difference is uh if you have watched my stream which maybe you did maybe you didn't i don't really play that much even on this patch like this patch is going to change soon uh pvz is going to change Add bits because of the nerf on the void ray and potentially it's gonna make the transition and shift towards different builds uh I, but what you should know that is that i haven't been playing too much stargate uh in pvc anyway so i kind of hate the build not gonna lie uh whenever i played sky toss i i felt like i was pretty much um just underwhelming compared to how i usually play so yeah uh it's going to be a twilight uh, specifically a charge opener so it's going to be a charge attack mm, would say not too much wouldn't say it's too much of a timing because it's not that tight but yeah we can call it that if we want to so at some point i'm going I'm gonna go for robo uh what i did as a mistake was uh not going for a sentry and a fast stalker but actually i think i would have delayed the robo uh, also going charge first is not too much worth it i guess because the idea would be to get charged by the time i arrive to his base which can be taken a couple of seconds later so yeah robo first and charge second would be the way to go and I'm still not going for a robo because at this point I was hesitating and now he scouts everything so you can see that this game uh, was pretty pretty like chaotic in the beginning and imagine I still managed to win it so the idea here was not to deviate too much from the original plan Maybe I could have stick, uh, stick with my probe at his third base to see if he's expanding or where he's expanding because I had vision at the triangle base so pretty much I scouted no super intense aggression no potential queen walk at this point so yeah uh, my idea is going charge um, with a prism a like couple of charge lots uh four gates a prism and getting a third behind it when i move out also getting uh an immortal and also as you can see i pull out of gas just to 
be able to spare a couple of minerals uh potentially like 200 minerals at this point because i pull four probes out of the gas which i'm going to pull back later on as far as i'm concerned so yeah pretty much uh i'm taking the third base and now i'm well now i'm looking for his third base and now i find it that it's on the high ground it's kind of well i wouldn't say it's bad for me uh gonna kill this queen gonna kill a couple of links i lose my stalker unfortunately the two queens are vulnerable over there uh, i kind of hesitate to to grab those oh and i ah, i just grabbed my uh third a bit late so i see a couple of bane wings morphing in uh, which i'm not too happy about and yeah a single link just killed the probe that's uh Place the third so not the end of the world he was just scouting that i'm getting the third at this point if i get his third base or just force out a couple of units and get a shield battery i think i'm fine uh due to this composition not being too much about control maybe just like clicking and now i get twilight forge which i could get uh well pretty much faster i would say because yeah, I had the gas and the minerals for that for a long time. Uh, what I could do here is just get a couple of gates as well. But yeah, um, not the end of the world. I could have ran away with some zealots, I believe. Maybe. And just force the bailings to move across the map and get another round of zealots or, or just stalkers and focus out the bailings. Yeah, um, my decision at that point was not too bright, I would say. I pull into gas just to have a slightly better uh, probe count when it comes to mining gas. I continuously produce immortals. And as you can see, he's stuck pretty much on links. Uh, and he's producing roaches and beanlings. So guess link bane ravager link bane roach ravager was his composition while i was tacking into um charlot archon immortal uh the standard bread and butter protoss as you can know and now i spot due to this prism that he's trying to attack with a couple of banelings and roach and he was not able to focus out my expensive units so i'm down to lose a couple of zealots i get a sentry a pair of zealots plus one is on the way um i start to mine out a couple of patches and transfer probes as i usually do maybe it's a mistake to do it so frequently honestly it kind of bothers my eyes i guess or i don't know here i'm moving my entire army and only that archon can attack with yeah um at this point i'm pretty much in the lead because he lost his third base he had to rebuild it at the time we were on equal bases so i guess i guess it's fine um now i just uh now i just pretty much grab all my units and try to march across the map now i see a couple of ravagers honestly i'm a tiny bit afraid that it could be even more it's kind of scary to head into that uh, smoke also i'm eating a couple of uh things and links run into uh i guess i was just super slow i don't know why i didn't warp in but yeah now i was like okay i need to attack half of my army just goes randomly in front of his natural for some reason but i deal with the links not too many probes lost i don't even know if i lost any probes but yeah at this point i'm kind of in the lead like a massive lead i would say and he has nothing whatsoever to speak of i warp in another round of zealots i continuously produce immortals i grab that one immortal that i had at third base and honestly at this point it's pretty much self-explanatory i say the two immortals like not even that's gonna die like yeah it's not gonna die uh, after all 
And now I'm just uh, getting my gases, but yeah, at this point I know that I want to win. So, um, this was a pretty, pretty nice game, I would say, and he was super behind when I took his, uh, when I took down his, his third base. Honestly, even with mutas, I don't think it would make any, any difference, like, not even a Nidus or Mutus or anything like that would help, so... Yeah, pretty much won the game straight up by just killing the third base over here. Uh, he had to rebuild it, he couldn't build uh, drones uh, out of that or any units. He had to spend everything on units because he was afraid of me attacking. So yeah, uh, pretty clean game I would say and yeah it's it's not my direct gameplay it's a tiny bit of commentary uh just sharing my thoughts when it comes to to playing games and even like watching replays how i think about the, the, the game or just the build in general so yeah uh also this is pretty much my favorite uh opener in pvc for some time like not over committing with the the charge attack uh, of course, there's versions that my coach Molson uh, showed me that could be like he showed me after I told him. He was like, ah, okay, uh, so you like charge laws? Then look, there's a couple of variations of this. There's like semi all in, like uh, pretty more committed that could go into DTs, and there's like a all in type transfer into dts if you get enough damage but yeah th that one is kind of risky that's pretty much what i was doing before with like six to eight gates and honestly i was kind of destroyed so yeah so at this point we are we are at diamond tree 3248 with Less than less than eight hundred rank games, and the overall fifty two percent win rate, which is kind of nice, I would have to say. Yeah, you can see that my worst matchup is against Protoss. I'm clawing my way back against Zerg, and for some reason, I feel like against Terran, it's it's not too, not not so accurate. The sixty percent is not so accurate. I would say fifty five percent maybe. So yeah, we're climbing steadily. Um, for the next couple of days, I'm going to try and uh, improve on my macro, which is something that I've been struggling with. So yeah, uh, I have no idea what type of content I'm going to produce after this, since, well, the road to diamond has ended. And yeah. I'm pretty happy. This is a milestone. This is an achievement. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be chilling for a, a tiny bit. I know it's not a big achievement. Uh, looking at the big picture and how much uh, can one improve still in this game, but I would say I'm, I'm okay with uh, this whole thing, and I, I'm super happy to. To be to be in Diamond League finally, because last time when I touched it, I told myself oh, I I'm not worthy of Diamond. I guess now it was the time. Now I felt dominant. Now I felt that uh, after I won, uh, what's it called? MLM, Metal League Madness by CSO Esports. It was about time to drop the platinum medal and just exchange it for some diamonds okay i hope you enjoyed this uh little bit different video and i hope to see you on my stream link's gonna be down in the description and we'll figure out what type of content i'm going to produce there's goofy and goofer which is done live uh probably i'm going to upload some 0 200 or maybe like a summary of that so yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great morning. Depends where you are watching from. 
yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.